-hmm. I'm working under the thematic area of employment, trying to solve the problem of employment for the youth. I actually joined Suzo in order to be able to reduce the rate of unemployment in Nigeria, knowing that Suzo is um, an organization that is also passionate in resolving some of the issues we have in Nigeria. If the youths are not gainfully employed, it becomes a problem for them. Let's take for example, in Nigeria we see so many persons moving around, we have so many vices, so many issues with the youths, and in most cases, it's because they have nothing doing at the moment. So um, my project is Learning Stud. That's a short form of learning students. Yes, I know it sounds funny because students are meant to be learning, but the reason why that name was chosen is that, yes, there are, <laughs> there are people who are learning in school ordinarily, like as every other person is meant to be, but there are those who take the extra step to learn some more. When you, when, you, when you open up yourself to learning some more, you gain more. And that is the beauty of learning stored. We are trying to create a community of students who are open to learning beyond the uh, things that the, school, that the institution offers them. Learning stored, it's out to create a platform that can help the students gain employable skills. My thematic area is um, employment and this is actually a big deal to me because I was able to realize that um, the rate of unemployment increases as the population growth increases. And of course, this is Nigeria. We keep increasing in population and definitely the rate of unemployment will keep increasing. But I also realized that when we um, upskill job seekers, when we upskill the youth, it reduces the rate of unemployment in Nigeria. And this made me passionate about upskilling youth, especially those within the age of 18 and 28, knowing that is the space where most people begin to search for jobs. So I implemented several projects, um, and one of it I would say is the seminar that we had for graduates. Um, it was named the Employable Graduates and the main focus of the project is to help ensure that um, job seekers are well positioned for their job. We had a series of speakers talk to them about this activity. We had an HR professional from the HR head of Pedabal. Yes, we know that it's not all job vacancies that will be advertised. There are some that they themselves have to position themselves to be um, someone that recruiters can actually walk up to because they've seen their profile and they've been able to identify them as someone who has the skills and will be able to do the work and this made us talk about personal branding because we believe that if effort is being made into ensuring that their brand is one that is um that is actually crowd pulling like crowd catching they would also be able to land a job Aside that, we also had a discussion on CV, what their CV should look like and how to make sure that their LinkedIn is actually catching. We are based in Enugu years and prim when, we started the, when we started the project, our target was to execute the project within the University of Nigeria. But unfortunately, the strike uh, <laughs> didn't give us that room because there are no students on campus. So we decided to narrow it down in such a way that, for now, we offer our training to those who are interested. And the best way to do that was to make an open call for people to register for the project, for the training, and be a part of it. That way, we know that the people who register are actually people who are really ready to learn the way we expected them to be. So that when we offer our trainings to them, it won't be a case of us just passing on knowledge to people who won't make use of it. And for the first training, we 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 team it uh, employability leverage, trying to give them the basic skills that opens them up to opportunities. And why um, for this employability leverage, the first the topics we focused on was first of all to identify your own career paths because. If we, are, if we are trying to make you employable, it comes in three different phases. 
first of all is you understanding who you are and what you want to do with yourself. The second part is you being able to say that, okay, like you being able to communicate what you say you are. And after that second phase, the, the third phase is the stage where you now get to find and apply for opportunities. That stage of finding and applying for opportunities, that's why we had the third day as a live event. And at the live event, we had three persons speak to our audience. The first spoke on opportunities, how to find opportunities in business. The second spoke on how to find opportunities in the creative space. And the third spoke on how to find opportunities in activism. Um, in the month of um, August, we had a project called Excellent Communication Skills. We also had um, LinkedIn optimization program for them. We also had um, we also had job search nudget section for them. In this section, we're able to give them different tips that could make their job search easy. I think what is exciting the most for me about um, the project is the fact that the boot campers could chat me up anytime to let me know what they need, to let me know the challenge they are having in their job search. So, and for me, it is a huge success. It is a huge blessing because I have a number of job seekers that I can help land the dream job through the normal um, career advice I give them, through the normal counsel. And of course, we also have a group where we populate um, job vacancies. So a good number of them have been able to maximize that um, project. I've been able to maximize that avenue in order to be able to apply for different jobs. And apart from that, one thing that is um, striking for me in the project is the fact that we've been able to, one way or the other, reduce the rate of unemployment in Nigeria. Okay, for, for this kind of training, it, the success doesn't come immediately. It's something that you build over time and we are still working with the students to develop that. But at the end of the event, we actually had people who were amazed from the information shared. Don't say a big thank you to Suzo for this opportunity. Thank you so much, so, so much for um, seeing Oluwatosin and feeling she's, she's going to be able to be an asset to the organization. And I really hope that it, you also had a good time working with me just like I did. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.